It's the match everyone has been waiting for. Argentina, Portugal, head to head. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo doing battle. Who's the best player? Which is the best team? A World Cup caliber match that promises to be an electrifying highlight reel. From the Stade de Genève in Switzerland, Argentina, Portugal, Portugal next on Gold TV, America's first soccer channel. As you can see, pretty much every Argentinian in Europe has made their way to Geneva. And Phil Shane sitting alongside Ray Hudson. And Ray, the fireworks have not yet begun. Well, this should be a real tasty encounter between two teams that are on very great rebuilding projects. Two of the greatest football players, if not the greatest football players, clash swords. Two proud nations ready to rock and roll. This won't be too friendly. You are watching Gold Preview International. The Stade de Genève, I don't know if there are many neutrals here today. Just as in Spain, everyone kind of has their favorite between Real and Barca. Ray, it seems as though everyone has kind of picked a Ronaldo camp or a Messi camp. And while Messi has had the dominance in recent years in the club level, these two sides have not met in generations. You see the starting lineups, Eduardo, Alves Contrao, Ronaldo, Moutinho, Almeida, Rolando getting in there with Mireles, Nani, Martins, and Joao Pereira. Couple of changes. Rui Patricio had been thought to be in the starting lineup in goal. Instead, the World Cup veteran Eduardo was in, and Jose Botingua, Bosingua was injured, and so he is a scratch. And Fabio Contrao is going to get the start. There's Romero, Bordiso, Cambiaso, Milito, Di Maria, Zanetti. Messi, Mascherano, Rojo making his debut, Manega and Lavezzi. And think about this, the former Estudiantes man now at Spartak Moscow, Marcos Rojo. All he has to do is shut down Nani and Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the real focus of this game is obviously on the two super duper stars. There's one of them, there's the other. The magisterial Messi and the majestic Cristiano Ronaldo. But don't be too focused on those two gems because there's a lot of other diamond players out there on both sides of the field. This should be a pure quality contest. Two sides getting set for a battle. Raul Morelos probably had a special tattoo for this. It's a player that's in top form, Morelos. And there's another player that went out of picture, his teammate Contrao, who is one of the real up-and-coming defenders in all of world football, in my opinion. There's a lot of players out here tonight. It's going to be in a delight, in a pleasure, and an honor to take a look at two teams, as I said in the preview want to be clashing swords this is a meaningful friendly make no mistake Argentina beat Brazil the last time out and for Portugal well they only beat the world champion Spain for nothing so teams are absolutely locked and loaded <laughs> slipped his clutch well, I have a feeling as soon as the whistle blows, 
he might be the only one that could keep up with him and he'd need his car. Hugo Almeida now plying his trade in Turkey. Still just 26. That's the one thing everyone talks about how young Messi is, but you take a look at some of these Portuguese players. Almeida 26, Ronaldo 26, Nani 24. This another team that could be up among the upper echelon for quite some time. Portugal in their red with the green trim, moving from the right to the left in Argentina. You can see a hint of snow on the field here in Geneva. Wearing the sky blue and white with the black shorts, defending the goal to the left. And the first touch for a resurgent Banega. And the Liverpool man strips it away. Carlos Martins now out wide. Here's Nani. Past Cambiasso into the middle. Martins. 28-year-old of Benfica in his ninth appearance. Both of these teams playing similar lineups as the flag comes up. Manuel Navarro on the far side. Matias Arnett on the near. Massimo Busaka, the official with the whistle, and Jerome Laperriere is the fourth here today. Busaka, one of the world's best, oh. stripped away from Benega. Almeida looking, Ronaldo in front. Pulls it back as he couldn't find him. Back to Mireles, who does. Hugo Almeida just hesitating there. A split second, and it was too late. Went Rao in front, deflected away. Beautiful wide. run by Cristiano Ronaldo, and had Almeida been a little bit sharper, he could have released Cristiano right in behind that flat back line of Argentina. Melito forced to surrender the corner Early kick. Early warning signs from Cristiano's team how sharp they can be. He'll always make that hurtful dagger run. If you can get him the ball, it'll be good night. Ball to the top of the six. Mascherano gets rid of it. Sent right back in, and no problem for Romero. Got the uh, haircut a bit. This Portuguese team on a mission to really be salvage the national prey. A lot of people, myself included, had thought that they would go a lot further in the World Cup than they did. Their coach, of course, took the majority of the blame. Carlos Quiroz really got massacred by the press in Portugal, and I think it was rightfully so, Phil. I thought this Portuguese side had a lot more to offer the World Cup than what they did. You could say the same about Argentina, of course. The stadium holds about 30,000 just over that. They could have probably filled it twice over at least. You remember that Portuguese side, goalkeeper here today, kept three blank pages for Carlos Quiroz. Wasn't that enough. And as you said, it wasn't quite enough. But this man here, Paulo Bento, in charge now, looking to rediscover a more attacking flair type of a team that is in keeping with Cristiano Ronaldo's personality for sure, but more in keeping with the Portuguese history. A wonderfully skillful team as always, and I really believe that they are a team that should be closely monitored, a wonderfully attractive side, but in many more attractive sides in that team in the blue and white stripe, the Albi Celeste, led by wonderful players, Lionel Messi and Di Maria here tonight up top. Alves flips it out wide, sent back to the middle. Nice play. Pulling it back, Moutinho trying to find an opening, spins it ball free. Beautiful from Mariles there as well to start this flowing attack. Trying to find him again, but Martins pass behind Moutinho. Yep. Argentina comes away with it. Good link up there, Mireles and Moutinho. Look how clean and quick they are on the ball. It's going to be a battle for Cambiasso and the men in blue and white. Mentioned both teams in similar formations, pretty much 4-3-3, oh, but beautiful. The personnel decides the tactics. Messi's pass goes awry, and he's trying to catch it. Remember shades of his tackle against Kun Aguero this past weekend. Messi takes his defensive responsibility seriously. Beautiful turn by Lionel Messi, and a good run. And he's looking for Levetti with that pass out wide. Could have clipped it over the top. Levetti had a cow's field in front of him. All right, let's get to... Yeah, it's just starting to get used to this ground, as you said, Phil. It's a little frosty, a little firm. They've had a little slight smattering of snow. And this game should have been originally played at Arsenal's Emirates Stadium. 
Just England was a little busy today. Exactly. Nice tackle, but not nice enough by Di Maria. Right, let's get to the, the uh, main course a bit. Everyone talking about Messi versus Ronaldo. And club level, you cannot argue, these are the two best players on the planet right now. You might have your favorite, but if you're going to go all time, as Cambiasso knocks it free, and here's Lavezzi on the run, and away from it. If you're going to get into the likes of a Pelé or a Maradona or even a De Stefano, offside flag comes up. In many ways, it's just as, if not more important, what you do for the national team, and both of them have tempted to deceive at this level. Well, you look at Messi's scoring rate alone for his national team. He's only scored, what, 15 goals for the Albi Celeste. That's a month at Barcelona. Yeah, exactly, and for Barcelona, he's virtually scoring a goal a game. But still, nobody can deny that Messi hasn't wore the shirt beautifully and has been always the biggest star in their constellation. A tremendous player, even if they don't win and he doesn't score. That last World Cup is a typical example. Messi had a tremendous World Cup, in my opinion. Well, Ray, get to Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got 25 goals in 79. This is 80th cap, but the only goal he scored in the last World Cup was the fluke that kind of rolled in over the top of his back. He didn't have a great World Cup either. He's got something to prove. I'm not so sure that they do have something to prove. I'm not so sure he put that much stock in a national team performance. Here's Di Maria deflected off the back. Header! Messi off target. Well, he scored a brilliant goal and almost another with his head just a week ago. He's fabulous with his head, and usually that one's nestled in the back of the net. He goes for the fine touch here. Yeah, he's got to read the spin. It comes off Di Maria's deflected shot or pass. Not an easy header, although it looked an open header. A lot of dynamic to read off the spin of that ball. Lionel Messi usually can do that. Just ask Man United, they suffered that in the Champions League final, remember, but... Ray Paulo Bento taking over for Carlos Quiroz, who rumors are could be in line to be back and work in working in Iran. All Sergio Batista has to do is take over from an icon named Diego Maradona. So, while many might have disputed Maradona's coaching abilities, you can't... Uh, you cannot... Uh, overlook how much he means to Argentina but Batista has been brilliant so far he certainly has the results have been showing that he's got this team in the right mindset and he's formulating the typical Argentina tango football to good effect this is a real good jousting game here it doesn't look like a friendly game does it it's being played at a real nice tempo all the players look like they're on their tippy toes Joao Pereira into the middle, wants it back, Ronaldo's pass, cleared by Melito. Here is the former sporting man, now playing for his former club coach. The quality ball by Nidellis. Touched in by Nani, but not enough for Martins. Martins wins it back. And again, just ah. missing the boot of Almeida. Fabulous again by Raul Nidellis. Look at this pass, that's the second one. The first one prior to that was absolutely beautiful as well, and he gets a big thumbs up from Hugo. The player that's playing out of his skin for Liverpool, Phil, and Kenny Dalglish, of course, is really bringing out the best of him since he got into uh, the Liverpool technical area. Almeida's form has took off under King Kenny Dalglish, and he's doing it for his country here. Wonderful player, Raul Morelis, ex-Porto man, of course. Ball pushed wide by Bruno Alves. It wasn't that long ago, Alves was thought to be among the best center backs in the world, still just 29. In Portugal it is that it's looking to have the best of this midfield action, but it's really very, very close. Went Beautiful wild. clashing of the swords. A little bit of concern here from the Argentina boss, Batista. Contrao toying with Zanetti there, almost pushed it behind him for Ronaldo. Got to keep an eye on that. Here's Milito, 30-year-old. Wanted away from Barcelona on loan. He loves the club. He just wants to play. Batista giving him a chance. Overlapping run. Rojo, the debutante. Too short, Alves. Messi. 
Smallest guy in the pitch, and he still wins the ball. And he bits it over Cristiano Ronaldo, who is tremendous with his vertical leaping. With Sliding ball. it in, Cambiasso denied by Eduardo, Magic and by, by the flag. Messi again, this is fabulous football. It doesn't matter that it's offside. Look at the genius, and I'll tell you what, that's as close as you get in an offside call. A lot of referees' assistants will keep that flag down. It was perilously close. Beautiful hauling up of his run from Cambiasso, but the vision of Lionel's Messi again, Newton flies eye. You saw Cambiasso grabbing his knee a bit. That could be a concern. Ten minutes in the book, and Ray, you weren't joking. Not only is this uh, two highlight teams, but they're playing like this is a World Cup match. Good for us. Zanetti with Great Messi. Tempo. Trash bang wallop in a beautiful way. Di Maria to the inside. Good ball. Cambiasso knocks it for Messi, settles. Magic. Back heel pass. Brilliant. Cambiasso oh. in. Down goes Lavezzi, but no call. I'll tell you what. There's definitely contact made here. Bruno Alves gets a little bit of a touch. What do you think? Beautiful little lead pass. There's That's in the box. Ah, there's very little there, though, Phil. But the contact is extended by Bruno Alves. The hands raised onto Lavezzi. I don't think he got much of him at all. It would have been a harsh call. But these gamblers of these defenders, when they're raising their hands up on a player nowadays, man, they are taking the life into the hands. Malito's pass I mean, too short. Was there any real need for no. Bruno Alves to do that? Sometimes the players use it as a, like a guide just to feel the players, but that can be misinterpreted by some referees. Good ball again. But Ellis dumps it in. It kicks up on Martins and Rojo knocks it out. Nudelis, say, Nudelis again, Phil. This guy is absolutely putting his fingerprints all over this midfield. Look at this for a beautiful lead ball again from the Liverpool man. Ray, going back to Bruno Alves, you said there wasn't much there. I have a feeling you probably would let him hear about it in the tape room. And yeah. I have a feeling Paolo Bento probably will too. Yeah. Here's a good look at Almeida. A lot of big players going to the Super League in Turkey. Kind of interesting to see what Josie Altidore will be able to do. Right now, Almeida sees an opening, but can't spin it on target. Well, a lot of good teams going to Turkey as well for their preseason from MLS. The new Toronto FC is over there, having a good time against class players and class teams. I have a few of them, obviously with Almeida out there today. Skips in front, Rojo. Estudiantes born and bred, now 20 years of age over at Spartak Moscow. Quick touch Messi. Oh, well, one back. Banega fell asleep. Good work, Moutinho yes. gets it back. Tricks it in. in. Almeida to the middle, and the flag up again, although Sergio Romero made the stop. Good play by Moutinho again. Mirales and Moutinho absolutely having a fabulous opening exchange here. Good call this time, a step on offside. Two against four, but one of them is Messi. Gets around, Mirales tucks oh, it in, Jesus. lifts it by Di Maria! A masterpiece from Messi! Genius! That's the only word you can't use. They should name a constellation in the heavens after Lionel Messi. This run is uncontainable. His pass is unstoppable. Look at this, how far away he gets it. Cutting in past player after player, and then the dexterity of the touch lays it through an absolutely golden needle. It's immaculate touch from Lionel. It doesn't need an extra touch from Di Maria because the pass is perfection. He actually puts negative spin on the ball and it holds up off the grass. And he could have put it on an absolute golf tee and it couldn't have been any better. Absolutely wonderful from the greatest football player in the heavens. The Messi. first. Blast over the bow. What will Ronaldo do? And as you'd mentioned, Ray, Portugal had probably had the better of play. Into the corner, giving chase. 
But Ada goes Manor down. Field, when there's a player like Messi, he can destroy you single-handedly. For all their dominance, Portugal just suffered an absolute hammer blow created out of nothing by Lionel Messi. When he picked the ball up that far wide, Sergio Checo Batista knew they're in trouble, and Portugal were. Usaka trying to calm Melito down. Looked more of a stumble than a foul. How many more goals has this guy got in him, man? It's not just the goals that he does, the, the quality of his overall game. You put him in the class of Pelé and Maradona and Di Stefano, well, he belongs there, does he not? Magic Messi again. The restart. Whipped in, edge of the six, all the way through the box and no one home. Di Maria again. And Ray, I don't think Ronaldo gets as much credit for how he has matured as a provider, as a team player. But Lionel Messi, you can't talk about it enough. He's about tied for the lead in goals. He's heads and tails above in setting up his teammates. Checo Batista said himself, I have full regard for the great Cristiano Ronaldo. He is an absolutely world-class player and a special player. He says, but Messi, he's off a different planet. Blasted inside, and there's Melito to clear. Again, Messi. beautiful by La Puga. Has help, Lavezzi. He's on his overlap again. Lavezzi rides him, trickled through. He's not used to playing with him. Lavezzi playing with a brilliant club in Napoli, but I don't think he realizes the jewel that's alongside him today. Uh, he does. The boss does. And look at these fans looking on to that new messiah of world football, Olegog. Lavezzi again. Back to Mascherano. Skips off Benega. He's had a poor start. Now a chance to change it. Clips off of Di Messi Maria. wins it back again. Strong tackle. Two That's minutes. a foul and a card as Mascherano tried to slow it down. Yeah, I don't know if you'll get a card for this. I think it'll be a harsh card if it's given as well. Mascherano goes in sliding. He gets the ball. Well, let's see if Busaka pulled it. Doesn't look like it. It's still Portugal ball, though. It's a tremendous tackle, Phil. Again, Pareda. In for Mirelis. Up for Moutinho. Tries to keep it alive. Cambiasso in the way. Here's Lavezzi. Messi calls. Messi gets. Di Maria. There's another gigantic talent. This man on the ball. Fakes the back heel. Tucks it wide. Zanetti. 37 years of age. This is 139th cap. Zanetti plays like he's still got another 100 caps in him. Brilliant there by Melito stepping in right across Almeida, reading it beautifully. Some wonderful defending going on down there as well, apart from all the starters that this number 10 has in his feet and the number 7 in red. The touch is finding Benega. The ball seeming to stick a bit. Here's Di Maria. Messi wide. Benega. Back for Messi, on his right, saved by Eduardo. Could he have pulled the trigger a little quicker with his right foot? Well, it doesn't matter, he goes with the left. Wonderful by Eva Benega, setting it up. Ronaldo in for Martins, out wide. Beautiful save, wasn't it, from Eduardo? Here's Nani, dances around one challenge, tries to get past Melito, does, cross to the middle, Almeida denied as Romano just touched it. Might have hit the post Tremendous a bit. by Nani. The Manchester United man is absolutely wonderful with his supply and his dribble. And it beats Melito all ends up. But it's the goalkeeper, Sergio Romero, that comes to the rescue. And just Phil, I think he got in. Basically, if he cut his fingernails this morning, he wouldn't have got to this pass. Beautiful by Nani. Teasing it. He stretches. He tries to push it away. Been taking lessons from one of the basketball players at the Miami Heat. Well, his brother, a basketball player at FSU and down in Argentina. Obviously, the hops run the family. <laughs> well said. Where did you dig that one up, Phil? So his brother is a basketball player? Wasn't good enough to be a goalkeeper, I guess. Wow. I mean, you could say that, that natural instinct in him. You know, when that ball's bouncing around the rim or whatever it does. You know what I mean. Mascherano, Zanetti, Zanetti, Di Maria, Zanetti. 
I love watching him. Oh, he needed it back. Zanetti giving daggers to Di Maria here. The wonderful Javier Zanetti, 37 year old, still a spring chicken, the most cap player in Argentina history. Still going super strong for Internazionale. Over 500 and odd games for Inter as Zanetti played. Chested down by Burdiso, calling Roma his home now. 29 years of age, he's turned into a linchpin under Batista. Ray, how has this Argentina team changed under Batista compared to Maradona? Well, I don't know, to be honest, because I haven't seen them enough. But when I saw them play in a friendly against Brazil, that game in itself, beating Brazil with a late goal by Lionel Messi, showed the confidence was coming back in the real expressive nature. But well, again. And again, being under Diego Maradona for a lot of these players seemed to be proving to be a very big glancing header and Ronaldo oh. from Almeida has tied it up wonderful play he stabs it home and it's a difficult one to make contact on they keep it alive here and Cristiano just reaches in because of his quick razor sharp instincts Again, in the right place at the right time, Nani's brilliant out wide, then the ball gets fed in beautifully. It's well contested by Almeida, and then it falls. Beautiful back heel, ball's flighted in to Pereira, and then Almeida gets a light, slightest touch on it. And then again, Cristiano, sharper than a carp attack to bury it. Got a weird habit of being in exactly the right place at the right time and it's because he's following the game so beautifully and his instincts like a bat just find their way through through radar or whatever it is that's innately and born in him to adjust his direction to be exactly where the ball's going to be played and figure that one out because Hugo Almeida Phil that ball just hit him on the back of the neck and it bounced right to the feet of Cristiano but again when we look at it again Cristiano Ronaldo had to make a couple of really quick jackrabbit steps into the ball to get the touch on it so game back on well the 14th minute goal from Di Maria his fourth equalized seven minutes later the 26th international goal for Cristiano Ronaldo here's Melito this game needed that goal. Now it's on. Lavezzi tried to keep it alive, knocked wide. Paolo Bento, that's relaxed for him. Corner kicked and Messi heading over to take it. Going over into that corner where a lot of Argentina fans are sending down the love for their greatest player. Ball whipped in, too high for Burdiso. Ronaldo off the check and go. Has help left and right, holding off Mascherano. Ronaldo, oh, the chef almost spins in off the deflection. Brave play this by Cristiano, driving through, holding off Mascherano, and Ronaldo doesn't go down. Gabi Melino comes across, and it fortunately takes a directive hit away from the goalkeeper that might have been headed in to the back of the net had Gabi Benito not made that touch on it. Second corner for Portugal. And it went the other way and it nearly caught Sergio Romero. Launched in by Martins, headed up by Almeida, still alive, Cambiasso. Oh. Look at Nani. Bruno Alves is really angry it is teammate for not letting this corner kick carry through because the boss seen Bruno barreling in for what would have been an open header towards Romero. Things are heating up, here's Quantrao. Off the chest of Ronaldo. Nice turn by the Benfica man, but he forgot something. Good footballer, this kid. Wearing the number five, let me tell you. Everyone wants him, that is anyone. Not a lot of great world uh, world level left backs. 
he'd be on that top five list. This will be an in-swinger. Nani all the way to the back. Touched back to the middle. It never cleared. And trying to knock it back in was Almeida. Romero looks a little lost. There just to get it away. You see when the ball comes back, it's just coming down. And Marcos Rojo just gets it away from Big Almeida. Good work by Bruno Alves to track that one down and keep it in. Yeah, but that earlier corner kick, we've not seen it in replay. The earlier one that was coming in towards Big Bruno Alves had his name all over it. And he was screaming for the player ahead of him. I think it was Big Almeida, but Almeida's never going to let a half chance go begging. A Foul tremendous marches. game for all of us watching here. He's friendly, he's being played all over Europe here tonight, of course, but I'll guarantee you there ain't any with this sort of help, a skelt, a beautiful football being played by both sides, and we're still early on in the game. Can they keep it up? That's what all their coaches will be wondering as well back home in the clubhouse of the prospective clubs. Hey, guys, we've got big games coming this weekend. These boys down there, they don't give a damn. They're giving everything for their country here tonight like it was a meaningful World Cup game. Dragging rights on the line. Ronaldo tangled up, and he's going to get the call against Benega. It was great to see Cristiano Ronaldo on that run. And he's up against the real Tega in Mascherano. And Mascherano was pulling and clipping away at him, and Ronaldo wasn't going to go down easy. He does it again, fighting off Benega as best as he can. And there's a real appetite on every one of those players, Phil. It looks like they haven't been fed for a week. Martins can put it on a dime. He's got it. So does Romero. Danger ball right at the edge of the six. Tracked down by Pereira. Alves, that's why he's a central defender. Mascherano, Messi. They're not giving it to Messi enough. Banega. Masche. Messi takes it himself. Benega harassed immediately by Mireles. Cambiasso, Messi keeps it alive. Match it again. Overlap, Rojo back to Messi. Oh, but something else is special, of course. Portugal is straight extraction from Brazil, or Brazil extraction from Portugal, excuse me, with the Portuguese tongue. So whenever you get Argentina, the Spanish tongue against the Portuguese tongue. Ah, something is added to the witch's brew. And short showing here from the first whistle. This game being played at full tilt. Here's Alves. Something else also to keep an eye on, Ray. You see Argentina as down goes Messi, and that's going to be a concern. Nah, he's all right. Just gets clipped a little bit here. He's smiling at Morales, is it? Yep. Batista has made no secret. He wants to turn Argentina into a Barcelona type type team. Yeah. He knows what he has in Messi. He's just got to get the other 10 players to play that way. Right, and that's easier said than done. You know, built around the possession game, of course, but you know, that takes a long time for that chemistry to come together. There's a little clip. It actually slips. It's got nothing to do with Mireles. He's completely innocent. Tucked inside, that could have been dangerous. Mascherano gets rid of it. Approaching the half hour mark. Levetsi getting tugged. Quintrao make that Pareda with the foul. Haven't been a lot of whistles so far. It's just been foot to the pedal attack, both sides. Di Maria into the middle. Mascherano tries to keep it alive. Benega just ran right past it because Cambiasso had taken root. Moutinho lost his balance. Messi against Mireles. Benega. Di Maria. Zanetti chugging behind him. 
backfield seems to be giving a little bit of a problem. Not the Messi. Or Zanetti, used to playing in northern Italy. Bordiso for Melito. In for Mascherano. Portugal have no way coming up next to the European qualifiers. This is a great rehearsal for them. Mirella's over again. Down goes Di Maria in his way. Sitting nicely in their group as well. It features Denmark, Cyprus, Norway and Iceland. Portugal should be able to qualify through that. Last two games in the Euros, they've won 3-1 both times against Iceland and against Denmark. Playing like a team with something to prove. Yeah, they are looking very good, Portugal. And Benega. of course Argentina have their big tournament coming up in the summer in South America. Stripped nicely by Martins. Oray. Give credit in my mind to Brazil and the way they've come alive under Mano Meneses, but this Argentina team is the only team to beat them. Quick thinking by Banega, up for Messi, back for Mascherano, and they'll sweep to the left. Rojo. Ah. Banega running into the back of Busaka. That time it really was 11 v 12. And the foul by Mascherano against Ronaldo to stop the play. fans have the hearts in the mouth for a lot of this game. Real Madrid got a big game coming up at the weekend, a tough one against the Espanyol. Moutinho, Nani, Pereira, back for Mireles. Kind of hard to miss Messi, everyone watching him. Ronaldo comes back. He'll commit the foul, but Ronaldo's showing some wheels. I'm not so sure. Is it against Cristiano or is it against Mireles? Either way, the Pulga drives by. He's off to the races, and it is Mireles that comes across and wipes him out intentionally, fully intentionally, takes the player down. That's naughty by the scouser. Cambiasso, Milito, and all the way back for Romero. Still just 23 now in Holland at AZ. Milito, Mascherano, the angles, the gaps, those walls and lines between the triangles, both of these teams, a textbook type of game here between the two. Messi for Milito, back for Messi. Tries to find an extra gear. Genius. Slotted through by Di Maria. He runs into a wall of defenders and gets the call. Well, Messi plays this one into Di Maria under severe stress as well, but that's only to the mere mortal's eye. He has the end result, and it's just a ball through, and I'm not too sure if that should have been called a foul. Does Lionel run into the player? Nah, there's a bit of both. I've seen them giving both ways, but... Di Maria not able to put it into the stride of Lionel. Rolando. Again, as you said earlier, Alves. Phil, the players around Messi just not accustomed to being able to play it into such confined areas. It's basically just got to be anywhere within his compass, and he'll magnetize it and then drive by the players with the ball and just leave them completely broken. Good angle for him this, it's a good distance. Right about 20 yards on the dot. Banega, just window dressing. Six men in the wall, and so they're still building towards it. towards the right-hand side of Eduardo, who I would imagine, but you cannot read this guy's mind. Messi strikes 
Looks like it might have gone off the back of Levetsi. Cleared away. Milito knocks it wide. Well, usually we see Lionel Messi every week on Goal TV with a little bit more dexterity and guidance with his free kicks. But Ooh. this time he goes completely for power and drives it into the wall. He's really expecting that little dink over the top. Nani clatters into Milito and gets the foul. Back to Zanetti. Using Rojo down the left now. Well, Ray, this match has lived up to billing so far. It's surpassed it, I believe, Phil. You know, it really has. For 35 minutes in, it's only now starting to at least come down from the warp speed that it started at. Ooh, dangerous play by Melito. Ball kept alive nicely by Martins, and Almeida can't get it away from Romero. Well played, Romero. He is a Yachtmar. The keeper comes out beautifully, and Gabi Melito that time really dicing with death dangerously. On a high back line, Gabi Melito tries to send a little slip pass, and doing that against this Portuguese front trade, whoa, that's dangerous indeed. Good ball again by Lionel. Messi wide, Zanetti one touch. Di Maria tries to rifle it through. Up steps Benega, play on. Sticking his head in where others would fear to tread, Gabi Melito wins it back for Argentina. A tempting treat when you saw it on the schedule. No teasing at the moment. It's flat out between these two. Banega, Melito. Couldn't get much more entertaining than sitting in a Geneva cafe. Talking about writing with Henry Miller and A.S. Nin, but here are the two legends in the making, Ronaldo and Messi leading the way. Messi again. You can almost hear Moutinho's groin snap. Zanetti. Banega. Di Maria. The old man. Banega and Messi. Messi Banega. Well, this is somewhat Barcelona. Hold on to possession and look for the openings. Uh, they give a goal of beyond Barcelona possession football in the 06 World Cup. Remember? And they scored. 25 passes. Ah, uh, 25 and a dozen more, I believe, Phil. And then they scored with Cambiaso. So. Argentina, it was that was the real starting boys for that type of possession football at the highest class against Suya Montenegro, I believe it was, wasn't it? Morales again getting whistled as Levetsi goes down. Quick start. Levetsi tries to bring it back. Play on, says Busaka. Seven minutes remain in regulation. Half number one. Almost disappointed this first stands up. Just about finished, but we've got another one to go. Well, Levetsi sure look quite nicely here, the Napoli man. The quality player he is. He's actually rejected by the great Boca Juniors when he was a youngster, but man, he found his form again. Lovely turn and control again. Di Maria creates space. Messi creates magic. High boot Morales. And, and he's right, this persistent Maria there infringement. Into Eva Benega. And in between Messi and Benega, try to concoct something over the top of Morales. High Di Maria. boot. Benega. This game is seesawed back and forth, and currently in Argentina's favor, but. Good ball. Can they get something out of it? Rojo. 
Lovetsi for Banega. Back to Rojo. Nicely. Outside. Oh, magic. Finds Lovetsi who gets the shot but over the bar. A fabulous play by Marcos Rojo here. The ex Gudiantes man is absolutely brilliant. He pulls it back here. And with the left foot, that's wonderful feigning of his teammate Lovetsi who kind of directed down. Wonderful build up by the Albi Celeste again. Cut and thrust. Beautiful by both players. Well, Ray, Argentina for years has been looking for a left back. They might have found one. Yep. He plays for Spartak Moscow now, who could go a long way in the main European competition this year as well. Uh, Bruno Alves who knows what he can do. He plays at Zane at St. Petersburg. Yep. Alves over to try and shut down Zanetti. Back for Mascherano. Oh. Such a useful pivot. Beautiful again. Lost his footing and down he goes. Morales actually marked him this time. And Messi doesn't go down just for the sake of it. We've seen that fabulous YouTube collection that Messi doesn't go down. And there, right there, you can see he's absolutely clipped by Carlos Martins. Martin's a player that's getting the start here for his boss, Paulo Bento, who he's had a bad relationship with the coach at his club, of course, when he was at Sporting. He had really bad words with this coach. And Bento was in charge of the Lions, but this time they've made it up, but he hasn't been much in this game, has he, Carlos Martins? Created a couple of good opportunities. But for the most part, everything's been through Medellis. Well, this is Benega time here, I would imagine. Rifles this what? one towards the corner. What Was a beautiful trajectory this is. A fabulous hit by Eva Benega. That's very, very close. The directive is absolutely brilliant. It's six inches away from it in my eyes. He's got the right height on it. Wonderful dynamic. It just doesn't quite get the accuracy for the inside of the post of Eduardo, who was beating all ends up. Player that's coming on, Gangbusters, Eva Benega for his club, Valencia. Having a fine season. Things heating up a bit. He's tired of getting kicked. Well, I said in the preview, people, this one might not be so friendly. And these two natural tongues are talking against each other it's witch's brew Osaka's gonna have to do something to calm this one down well let's all hope that you know these wonderfully gifted players in this exhibition game friendly game call it what you like are protected by this referee and that the blades don't come out too much in a glinting way. Well, I think they already have. And they must be playing for some serious bonus money, these lads. It was Alves with all of his teeth bared. Yeah, but still, he gets the ball really cleanly. Approaching the 45th minute. 1 1, 14th minute Di Maria for Messi. 21st, it was Almeida to Ronaldo. Down goes Nani, and it was Melito again. Well said, Phil. Comes in a little bit too clumsily. It's a nice lead ball in for Nani. He's just going to control it, and no question, Gabby just bundles the Portuguese man off of the ball. The Red Devil goes tumbling. Good placement here for Cristiano. Don't put it past him to try to whistle it past Sergio or find one of the big targets. He's got some beauties. Big Alves waiting alongside of Almeida. A good target, sir. He's coming inside as well. This one looks as if it's going to be placed. We're going to be looking for the big lighthouses at the back. Just about. 30 yards from the dead center of the goal. And Cristiano Ronaldo, probably the best header of the ball inside of that box, so look out for him as well. Martins spins it over everyone. 
they all ran near post, and the ball, ball went far. Sin, he hasn't done too much for my money, Carlos Martins, and that's a bad ball. Not giving his men a remote chance of getting on the end of it. Cambiasso is down. He was limping earlier. This time, looks like he took a blow as Bruno Alves ran through. Well, he's got a wonderful bench to go to, Sergio Batista, if the Internazionale man does come off. No Carlos Tevez, that's the big exclusion for Argentina, of course, not called up by the boss, because Checo of his Batista, attitude. because of nothing like the attitude. It's just because he knows what Carlos brings and He's just looking at different experimentation, so don't start stirring the pot, Phil. Well, let me take the big wooden spoon out because from a lot of the comments out of Argentina, Batista already used the big wooden spoon to try and send a message to Tevez. You don't buy it. No. You like a bit of fire. No, I think that this coach knows exactly what he's got in Carlito, and he says we won't be needing it in this game particularly. Just... Again, it's a very controversial decision to exclude Tevez, but either way, we've got a wonderful game on our hands and one that's beautifully perched on a high ledge, on a razor's edge. Well, the two maestros have proven their worth in the first 45 minutes. We've got another one to go. Stick around, it's 1-1 in Geneva. Nothing neutral about this one. Argentina tied with Portugal. Two solid goals in the first half. And then Portugal seems to just draw back a bit. And hasn't it been wonderful, Phil, that both these sets of supporters have seen their brightest star in the galaxy really come out and put on a real starburst sort of performance. Cristiano for Portugal and, of course, Lionel Messi for Argentina. Both players not holding back at all. And pretty blondie there looking down and giving the shimmering eyes. And meanwhile, the nutcases from Argentina looking on. And Actually, that looks like Rojo. Looks like What's he doing up in the stands? <laughs> well, let me ask you this from a team perspective, though, Ray. Especially early on, first five to ten minutes, Portugal playing mm -hmm. a lot more confidently. But then something seemed to click. And from a Sergio Batista perspective, there might have been a few uh, rough patches here or there, but he has to like the way the team seems to be coming together. Yeah, Phil, you know, I mean, this is a friendly game, but it, it was played at full tilt. It was said in the preview, it was a meaningful international friendly game. And you can overanalyze it sometimes, you know, because Portugal, for me, by, by a good margin, a better side in the opening exchanges. But then, of course, Lionel Messi throws his hairdryer into the hot tub, and that's what it took. It was an electrifying run that absolutely left the Portuguese defence for dead, and it took the greatest football player on the earth to dismantle them and to dishevel them. But they bounced back with their quality football. Mireles, for me, was tremendous in the opening exchanges, very inventive, and Cristiano had a couple of opportunities that he could have even capitalized on in a better way. But it's, it's, there's nothing in this game. I mean, they both want it, and they are both intent to get it. Now, who's going to be the hero? Surely there's going to be one out there. I don't think this game will end up in a stalemate. If it does, it's been anything but stale. That's for damn sure. Now, getting set for the second half, Looking back at maybe some of the lights that have not been too bright. Carlos Martins, a couple of nice sets and yeah. a few others that weren't. Nani somewhat invisible, but he did create a golden chance well, that was I, tipped away by I, Romero. I, I would disagree with you there. I thought Nani has had a good game. I personally, Phil, I think he's been very involved on that right side and looked good.
You see one change already. Eduardo is out. Rui Patricio is in. Rui Patricio, some had thought that he was going to start this game. Eduardo might actually wish that he had. On the other side for Argentina. Again, Phil, I mean, Eduardo pulled off some really good saves for Portugal. I think he showed himself up to be a top class goalkeeper again. And uh, the Genoa boy, I thought, had a good performance in keeping this score lane down, denying Argentina several times. So now the sporting keeper in for the former sporting coach. On the Argentina side, I'd say Levetzi and Benega especially seemed to struggle a bit. Benega perhaps overcame it by the half. Inside and headed up and over by Almeida. Good work by Ronaldo. As always, the provider is beautiful with it. That wonderful pace to release himself and give him that precious split second more to look up and pick him out. He rounds Zanetti beautifully, but then that wonderful awareness and vision. And he's only able to exercise that vision by that wonderful pace that released him around Zanetti and allowed him to pick his head up and pick the big man out inside. Alba sends it long. Ronaldo for Almeida. Zanetti. Back for Burdiso. Only change is Eduardo out for Luis Patricio. So it's Romero in goal for Argentina. Zanetti, Burdiso, Milito, and the youngster Rojo in front of him. Mascherano anchoring Benega and Cambiasso, and Messi in between Di Maria and Lavezzi. For Portugal, Rui Patricio in goal, the 22-year-old sporting keeper, making his second full appearance for Portugal. Pereira, Rolando, Alves and Quantrao, Mireles, Moutinho and Martins, Nani, Almeida and Ronaldo. Messi giving young Marcos Rojo a little bit to do there. Expecting Dani Alves to be on the end of this, but young Rojo just not as quick as the Barcelona team yet. Mascherano. Well, it's no surprise that Liverpool liked both of those players. Mascherano for Argentina, Medellis for Portugal. They both do so much. Defending. The man who got beat by Di Maria thanks to the magic of Messi, Pereira. Messi again tried to tuck it past Nani, but he deflects it and comes away with it. Goes around Cambiasso like he wasn't there, and Melito grabs hold to slow him down. The field chopping up a bit. A few slips in the first half to this point. Nothing really dangerous because of it. Temperature just above freezing. Little to no wind at all. About as good as you're going to get in Switzerland in with the middle of winter. Joao Pereira. Keeping it alive, Almeida slapped away by Romano, and Ronaldo sends it high. What a beautiful header from Hugo Almeida. When you see this one again, you wonder how it doesn't go in. This is a tremendous header. Beautiful direction, and it kisses the top of the bar. That's brilliant by the Bastique Des man, and it's got Sergio Romero beaten. He didn't get a fingertip to it, no. First half. Difficult header as well, Phil. He's fully away from the ball, and he was back to the goal. And still, Almeida was able to get within a paint lick of being underneath the ball. First half, they tried to get the ball on the ground to Almeida. Now they're using that height. Here they come again. Ronaldo double team still has it. Kicked away down the line for Quentrao. They're going at Zanetti in the second half. And the veteran knocks it wide. Well, Upi might still be a smart defender, but he's approaching 38 years of age. Quintrao couldn't keep it in. 
And there's a good look at Bento. Everyone kind of thinking about the last World Cup. These two teams have something else on their mind. Argentina with the Copa America that they host and want to do well in. And Portugal, as you mentioned, still in the thick of the Euro. Razor sharp today, five minutes into the second half. And as you said, Phil, both teams feeling very, very strong sides, and yet some big, big guns missing, especially for Argentina. So that's really, it all goes well for this new coach, Checo Batista. Should be a wonderful competition in Argentina. They can be chops about that one. Deflects off Nani, giving Chase Lavezzi. And Ray, we wonder how long Lavezzi's going to play in the second half. There's a talent in Javier Pastori on the bench who's chopping at the bit. Big talent. But Ellis knocks it wide. In many ways, he's just as rich as Pep Guardiola is. Cambiasso knocked down as Medellis again. There is a law for yellow cards called persistent infringement, and every time an Argentina player is down, it seems to be Medellis that's standing there above him. <laughs> but Busaka keeping the card he's a in his pocket. He's combative player, Raul Medellis, no question, but he's way more than that. He's certainly no butcher. A wonderful, talented footballer. As we said earlier, being out of his skin for the great Reds of Liverpool, Banging on goals for fun lately under Del Bleach and really, it's really, they have tremendous ability. Messi tried to get around Moutinho, and that'll be the softest foul Messi will face today. Portugal with the run over the first five minutes of the second half. Now it seems to be Argentina's turn. Quick restart, Messi gets it back. Di Maria, Zanetti, Di Maria, Messi wants it through. Banega, Zanetti, deflected. Zanetti, a bit of magic by the veteran. Messi, Zanetti, can't get around Alves. He'll get the throw in though. Di Maria. Good work out wide. It was Almeida on defense, poorly cleared. Cambiasso inside, snap header off target, and Rui Patricio watches it go. Both these coaches were tremendous players for their clubs and country. They know the game inside out. Lito drops it back, see some subs loosening up for Portugal. Beautiful play from the back there by Bruno Alves. The ball gets stuck, Moutinho giving chase, but he's got to catch up to Messi, who leaves him in his way. Messi, Ooh. around Rolando, play on, says the ref. One back by Rojo, he's been impressive in his debut. Lavezzi, Messi, actually, this time it was Benega it looked like, but Mireles looking on in disbelief. Mireles earlier started trying to clip Lionel, and then he runs into Rolando. There's very little, there's nothing there, is there, really. He touches the eyelashes of Benega and goes down. That's tough look on Raul Mireles. You're right, Phil, and just scraped across the top of his head. It didn't even, there was no heavy contact. It certainly wasn't intentional, but the Swiss ref, Usaka, gives a great opportunity for you know who. Or it could go to Benega this time again. He missed by inches last time. Yeah, but I think this is Lionel's by the look of him. Gabi Melito at the back post. Not a lot of height out there, though, for Argentina. 
It will be Messi. On goal, and Patricio lunges to push it wide. Oh, uh, well saved, Rui. Beautiful directive, great power. He actually tries to come and claim it with both hands instead of snapping it away, perhaps. But either way, that's tremendous tip-top goalkeeping from Rui Patricio. This will be an in-swinger. A very quick across to it, yet to be. Settled by Manelis, he shouldn't. Rojo into the middle and cleared by Moutinho. Ten minutes into the second half. Now it's Portugal Game hanging starting off. Starting off the same way as the first half did. It's just being played at full tilt. Argentina pressing the issue, as you said, Phil. Looking very, very strong. And Portugal's not looking very weak either. Defending as best they can to contain Messi, who's at the heart of everything that goes through the blue and whites. He's right at the epicenter, isn't he? Every time, it's messy. Almost as though they're going three in the back, sliding Bordiso out to right back. Melito to the middle with Mascherano covering. That leaves a gap, though. Clear. Almeida drops it. Martins back for Ronaldo, onside. Ronaldo deflected oh! and cleared away before Almeida can knock it in. That's amazing here from Cristiano Ronaldo out wide. They're saying, I believe, that Zanetti makes a handball on the line. Let's take a look. Cristiano knocks it down. It's beautifully settled. He gets it back. He's onside. He turns, and this is a spank. I don't see anything wrong with that, Phil. Let's take a look from this angle. Cristiano hammers this one. It's well saved. There's no handball, and it's just missed completely. Almeida, it is, it's being stated that Marcos Rua tried, tried to intentionally clip him. I didn't see much contact there at all. I think Almeida tried to make a feast of it. Just finger down his throat, slotted through, but too many men to beat, cut off by Pereira, and here they go the other way. It was a good save by Sergio Romero from Ronaldo, though, wasn't it? Beautifully positioned. Cristiano really whistled that one towards the Alkmaar. Goalkeeper. Here's Benega. It was just an amazing that Hugo Almeida just didn't slot that one home. It came to him very, very quickly, but still, you'd imagine he would have taken the took. He's a big boy, Hugo Almeida. Take a look again. He hammers this. It goes down to Almeida. There's a little clip from behind, but surely Almeida should have been able to head his wits about and to push this one home. You can see Marcos Roa just touches the backs of his heels basically to try to put him off you know what he succeeded he got away with one and rascally archies again little surprised almeida didn't try and get that ball to his right foot just didn't think he had enough time i guess regardless argentina dodged a bullet but had either, ronaldo's name almeida, all over almeida it. made the contact on the ball though did he not Phil? it just wasn't clean enough even though he did get a little bit of a Pussy lick at the back, but that's all it was, just a pussy cat lick. Inside Benega. Poor touch Messi. Mark that one down. You might not see it again this year. Here comes Quantrao. Almeida pushing the line. Quantrao around Mascherano. Quantrao for Almeida, but cut off by Romero. Good run by Quantrao, but he's well shepherded. Asking a lot get in between Mascherano and Zanetti. He was close, he didn't have really much of a target inside of him though, did he? Woo. Hold on, might want to buckle up if your Barca lounger ends up with a seat belt. Still got another half hour to go and there's fresh legs getting set to come in. Di Maria. Benega to Messi, back to Mascherano. And again, style-wise, I think Bento and Batista have to like what they've seen. Well pleased, well said, Phil. Totally got to be very pleased with the commitment, drive, energy, skill. Moutinho to Ronaldo. He's found an extra gear. But could back. Mascherano slips oh. in his wake, and it hops up on Nani, who's going to get whistled for the handball. Cristiano Ronaldo goes over the top of Carlos Martins and tries to find Nani. 
and it just skips out of place. Some major changes here now for Portugal. Well, what a performance the first 60 minutes was. Now the Postliga, Quaresma, Dani, all getting set to check in. Bruno Alves will get the armband from Ronaldo. Good day's work from Ronaldo. Fine performance again. Strong, brave, representing his country very proudly and very well. With a top class one from Cristiano. Nothing held back for his country. A well played. Good player, this guy coming in. Always like this, number 10. Danny plays for Zenit St. Petersburg now. 27 year old. I was hoping he might start. Karezma coming in. And Helder Postiga, the other. It's not as though Portugal has a dearth of talent. And now we wait and find out. In fact, you could say Portugal probably has better offensive talent available today than does Batista in the absence of Tevis. Rigo Melito also nicked up, slotted through. Messi can't get there. Rolando stepping up to clear it away. Good football there earlier from Levetsi. Very close to getting through the back lane of Portugal. Straight ball that time from Mirales. Oh, well played. Handball. That's why. And now the first change is coming in. Mascherano is going to be one of those coming out. With the Mendy. And the other is going to be Banega. So Zabaleta, the veteran, checking in. And the cleanly, well, almost cleanly shaven Fernando Gago. This is always one of those points where you wish it wasn't a friendly. With all the changes, it's hard to keep the chemistry going, but these teams have the talent. A little kick as Donny goes down. You mentioned you like him. What do you like about Donny? Uh, he's just a skillful player, Phil. Good drive about him. Bit of a maverick uh, feel. Nice box of toys, difficult to contain. Wonderfully strong on the run. Can produce magic with passes and finish like the best of them. Moutinho, good game in the midfield, although he hasn't had much chance on the offensive side. Di Maria chipping it up and out. You could see Batista and Jose Luis Brown a fierce defender in his own right, now as assistant coach, trying to figure out who's next. Well, from one wily veteran in Zanetti to another in Zabaleta. Tried to get it to the Man City man into the middle. Cambiasso lunging, play on, slots it through, deflected. Messi will be ruled offside, and that one might have been closer than it first appeared. Then again, maybe not. Alves taking a step up in time. Uh, the Real Madrid. Wonder boy putting cotton wool. How long will it be before Jacob Batista pulls off Barcelona's 
star man. Orlando's team got good memories of this stadium as well. They've played in Euro 2008, of course, in this stadium. I mean, played against Turkey and the Czech Republic. And got good wins out of that game. So this stadium's been kind to Portugal. Messi, decked by Alves. Calves like he's got broccoli stuck down the end. Backs of his stockings here today. Is this the one? No, nope. still leaving Leo in. Well, it's Di Maria coming out. Lavezzi's going to stay out there, and here are the Argentine fans. Yeah. They've been waiting. All the Real Madrid fans applauding as well. Good Pastore player, this guy in. coming in. He's a bit of a lanky type of player, a little awkward looking. Just watch him play. Fabulous talent. Busy's football in Palermo, of course. So all the Serie A fans looking in know what this kid brings. He's a juggernaut of a talent. A little surprised. Let's see what they've done. They've moved Lavezzi over to the right side and allowed Pastori to roam down the left flank. Guess he already knows what he's going to get from Di Maria. Look Beautiful how high touch up. there from Pastori to start this attack. Pretty much playing Cambiasso as a center forward. Good turn. Well defended by Danny, that run on the outside. Wait, look at Argentina. It's like a wall of five attackers. Well, he said he wanted to play Barcelona type football. Yeah, but you don't see Sergi Busquet leading the front line that much. You see it though. Here he is, it's Cambiasso and it popped up on him. Good idea and Rolando dodged a bullet. They're trying to get a mismatch and it almost worked. Ray, that's the amazing thing when you have such great talent at your disposal. Coaches can look like geniuses. And normally that reputation of a high IQ lasts as long as the good players do. 68th minute. Halfway through this second stanza. Chance for Martins. Gets it back, but too hard from Postiga. Unlucky. Messi. Pastore's first touch. Rojo back to Milito. Lavezzi had a chance, but he lost his footing. Pushing the front line helps to force it free. Levetsi couldn't settle. Postiga knocks it back. Donny making the run, but it's knocked back to the middle. And Rolando to Mirelis. Pereira out wide. Here's Quaresma around Rojo into the middle. Off Milito. Rojo with his right foot doesn't get enough. Joao Pereira serves. Snapped away Zabaleta. Morales. Rojo getting caught out ball. once or twice there for Argentina, showing his youthfulness and naivety a little bit. And Portugal nearly capitalized on it. They call this a handball. It looked to be right off the chest from here. Morales' pile of ticking worked though. Ray, 
one thing Pep Guardiola likes to do is to play Messi 90 minutes regardless. Looks like Batista is following suit. 70th minute. Romero not happy with the wall. Martins from about 30. Can't get it past the two men. Levetsi giving chase. Guentrao not good enough. Tries to make up for it. Messi sticks his boots in and gets whistled. And Mascherano with something to say. <laughs> Messi reaches in into Contrao, turns away and clips him again. Lionel. Gets away with one, but then Mascherano comes in very, very heavy here onto Contrao. And I, now I'll tell you what, Contrao's got an axe to grind. It was Messi that started the mischiefs as well. Martins again. Isn't all about the choir boy, is he, Lionel? Seven men, top of the box, defending for Argentina. Martins. Ooh, poor header by Melito. Pastore can't block it. He does the second time with some help from Zabaleta. And he runs out of real estate. Uh, Gabby Melito misses his header completely. It goes down and off the back of Rolando. Kept alive. Quaresma showed his magic last time. Oh, well played. More magic from Zabaleta. Pereira. Martins, Pereira, Alves. Dani fights for it, knocked back, but no one home. This one will get hauled in by Mireles and all the way back to Patricio. Poor touch, it popped up on him. It'll be a corner for Argentina. Very uncharacteristically played back by Raul Mireles. Certainly, Patricio had come for the ball, expecting just the roll back, but you know, it's been very heavy. Hey. And it's in! Oh. Go just wide! Cambiasso at the back post. Thought he might get to it. Beautiful work. Lavezzi and Rojo. Clear header, open header, he does his damnedest. He tries to glance it and place it beautifully. Rojo rises, gets a nice touch header on it. Just doesn't direct it accurately enough, but great attempt. Beautiful play out wide in the supply. And not a bad header. Poor delivery from Rui Patricio. Back to Argentina, but they don't know what to do with it. I say it wasn't a bad header. It's got to be finely. Touched in, and it's really one of those types of headers where you've got to get everything right on it. When you see it not go right, it looks like a bad miss. It's not always the case. Ball pops up on Romero as he tries to clear out for a corner kick. Here's Martins again. Might be invisible for on the play, but he's caused a lot of problems with his restarts. Had one bad one in the first half. Everything else has been golden. Ball skips up. Zabaleta comes away with it. Okay. Tries to go around Quaresma, and down he goes. Yellow card, second against Portugal. Zabaleta looks slower and looks older than he actually is. It's great skill on the edge of the box from the Manchester City man. And then he starts his run. And as you said, Phil, Karezma coming out with a little bit of a blade. Ball blasted forward by Bordiso. Here's Messi. They've really shut down the gaps on Messi in the second half. Melito, Pastore. Touch. Back to Pastore. Nice football. Back ah. for Messi. Martins hooks it away. It was a bad ball from Gago, I believe, back into Lionel Messi. It was a lovely build-up by Argentina. Right-footed to safety. 
out for a throw in near midfield. You can see a bit of mud building up around the goal mouth. Argentina has been pushed back. Now they look uncomfortable. Will there be a winner in these final 15 minutes? Back heel, Pereira. Good cross, but over everyone. Martins tracks it down. Went throughout trailing. Chip to the spot. High from Mascherano. Second effort out of the area. And he's pushed from behind by Donny. Gago screaming for it. Look how deep Messi has to come to get a touch. Tight defense from Portugal. Sloppy ball across. Taken away Quaresma. Tries to cut away, but can't get past Melito. Moutinho. Good Run. chip into space. Moutinho deflected. Martins, Mireles, one touch, but the wrong one. For Messi, Quintrao steals it away. This is just two sharp blades dulling each other. Outlet pass, could slice it open, though. Beautiful ball. Far side, Pastori. Big switch. Great ball. Knocked back down, ah. but no one trailing. Lovetsi gasping in frustration. Here's Mascherano. Got a little backspin to check it. Messi. Mascherano. Gago, Messi. Gago stepping forward. Rifles it across, intercepted by Lavezzi. That might have been intended for Cambiasso. Stepping up for Liso. Out wide, Zabaleta. The cross, Cambiasso. Cleared away, Rolando. Aye, aye. Top of the box. Magic. Messi, ah. Pastore denies. Rui Patricio with the save of the match. Tremendous by Lionel Messi, who could have pulled the trigger himself, but he plays it out wide, and this goalkeeper, this substitute goalkeeper, Patricio, saves the match. Yellow he attacks this ball Gago. coming off his line. He's beautiful with it, the keeper. He races off the line to deny the shot. And when we let you see it again, Messi plays provider and he's very generous. I thought Lionel was going to take a pop at this with his toe to stab it past Patricio. But he passes it to his teammates who cannot finish off a great move by Argentina. Out comes Cambiasso, who looked to be a bit winded. Out comes Mireles, who looks ready to go another 90. Miguel Veloso, the player, checking in for Portugal. Veloso, 24 years of age, his 16th cap for the Genoa player. Lucas Bilia, the player that's coming in for Cambiasso. Good ball inside Pereira, poorly cleared Bordiso. Bilia, the 25-year-old, making his debut. A teammate at Anderlecht of Sasha Kleston, the U.S. international. Bilia, out of Argentinos Juniors.
Martinez getting set to check in. Add a little bit of a spark to this Argentina attack up top. If they need any more sparks, Martinez. Well, something's got to catch fire soon. Mascherano, Gago pulls it back. Well played. Pastore in the center. Again. To Messi, Pastore. Out wide. Zavaleta. Back for Pastore. Slotted through. Not a bad ball, was it? He thought Messi was going to get there. Lavezzi almost did. Yeah, Lavezzi a little bit slow out of the traps that time from that lovely play engineered very, very well by Javier Pastore. He's put a lot into this game as well. Lavezzi, he may be the one that comes out. Soft touch. Well played. Dani. Zabaleta tried to take a bite, instead he's down. Out wide, Dani again, Mascherano drops. Dani, Martins, Martins, Martins just over the bar. A good football, lovely build up down that side between Dani and Carlos Martins who goes for gold. And he ain't too far away from it. It's a lovely settling ball that just steps up nicely for him. There's a little touch to caress it. He knows it's popping up for him on a golf tee and smacks through it. Very close to finding the far part of the net of Romero. Zabaleta got tangled up as he tried to cut that pass down. He is more of a gambler than Zanetti. Argentina. Almost rolled the snake eyes on that one, though. Belia the shows. Big winners have been these wonderful people that have showed up in such great numbers and got behind this game and really made a tremendous atmosphere for these players and for all those viewers. Well, you have to remember, what, this is a neutral side. Messi wants it back, gets it back. Weaves through two, past a third, cuts past a fourth. Near side, Rojo. Bilia with his first touch. Messi to Mascherano, and Burdiso tracks it down. Bilia. All the way back, a bouncing ball. Romero, time to trap. Not much pressure from Postiga. Talk about the possible spark that Martinez, Martinez may bring to Argentina for when you think that Carlos Tevez and Diego Melito and Gonzalo Higuain are out of Lionel Messi's team. Swept away. Good defense in the middle. The run. Gonna be a card this one. Well also off the bench and into the book. on the ankle and sent him flying. No, he's not caught him on the ankle. He's absolutely bladed through the wonderful Barcelona defender there. And this referee's had a good game. He hasn't been brandishing the yellow cards too quickly. He's let the big boys play. And yeah, it is. He's put a lot into this game. And it hasn't been a bad game. Well played, Ezekiel. He's been a shining light at Napoli and showing some promise. Well, a third debutante for Argentina, Bilia joining Rojo, and now Juan Manuel Martinez makes his Argentina debut. The 25-year-old out of Belisarsfield. El Brito, they call him. A little bull. Let's see if he can put his horns into Portugal here. Ball in, what? headed ah! off the crossbar. Pastori denied by a coat of paint. Fabulous header from Pastori, meets it beautifully, wonderful ball from Messi, drops it onto the head of a pin, and Pastori's header is fabulous, wonderful, it's got the keeper beating all ends up, ah, it's unlucky, a special player this kid, 
He may look a little bit awkward, but fabulous talent. Paulo Machado in for Martins. Machado, 24 years of age, just his second cap out of Toulouse. Good second half for Martins. Yeah, better, certainly, Phil, you're right. Came on, produced a better performance. Rojo, Trubilio, wins it back. And again, similar to what Meneses has done at Brazil, I love what Batista has done. Not afraid to go with new blood. Three players playing today who had never played for Argentina before. And you know what? Pastore, not one of them, but he's going to get a lot more time after what we've seen in the second half. Down went Martinez. And another restart with about five minutes left in regulation. You think we still have a winner in this one? Or do they cancel each other out? For sure. That one was so close. If that one doesn't go in from that header, that we just saw earlier from Pastore. You wonder if there's a winner out there, Phil. Another foul, but this one the other way against Burdizzo. And What a fair result it'll be, will it not? Let's say that Argentina may have shaded it overall, but still Portugal have been very impressive with their style and commitment and attacking prowess. So uh, I think this all-square game will be a real fair, fair result. Well, Ray, coaches around the world and owners with those checkbooks in front of them as well, probably eagerly awaiting the 90th minute. As a soccer fan, almost hope Busaka lost his whistle in the dressing room. This is one I'd like to see go on for another hour or so with the talent on the pitch. It's a splendid game. Knocked free. Nice hustle, Burdiso. The Roma man wins it back. Quick thinking by Mascherano, poor touch. Actually, don't want to give credit to Mascherano. That was Gago who made the bad pass, and it leads to this as Quaresma goes down. has been a spark in the second half down the wing. No Almeida, no Ronaldo, but Donnie and Postiga both good in the air as well. Bruno Alves pushing up, hanging out at the back post. Poor delivery. Pastore deflects. Gago clears. Contrao. Drau Pereira. Launching it long. Through the back of Melito and Helder Postiga, letting the ref know what he thought. Maybe a bit of an elbow, but looked like the forward had just as much right as the defender. Yep. Bilia Rojo just reaches out a long leg and sends it back the other way. He's taken down after the pass had left his foot. Quaresma getting a bit of payback. One one both goals in the first half 14 from Di Maria off a visionary pass from Messi the 21st minute. A bit of luck perhaps off the back of Almeida and the hard work of Ronaldo. Here's Messi. Spins it wide. Tremendous pass. Zavaleta wants it back, gets it back. Into the box, play on, and another collision. Put into the spot as Quentrao tried to reach free, and it's the substitute Martinez who's turned that spark into a blazing fire. Well, I told you, this kid's a good player. El Burrito, the donkey, not the bull. He drives in beautifully, and he gets clipped. 
Wonderful give and goes of Ayepa. Starts it, and it's a good reach in by Contrao, but then he reaches in again, and he definitely clips El Burrito. Juan Manuel Martinez becomes a new hero for Argentina, but the immortal Messi looks to seal this victory with a Stradivarius kiss of his left foot. The 90th minute, the clock ticking with the drum beat. Messi from 12 paces against Rui Patricio. Messi calmly slots it home. He might have been the calmest man in the park. There's no neutrals at this stadium. Argentina with the lead. In the stars, no less. The biggest star in our football galaxy comes to send these fans home with a beautiful memory of a ding-dong battle on the football pitch played between two wonderful nations. They have served up an absolute smorgasbord of combative, skillful football. But the gods smile down and say, Give Lionel a Cuba sugar. He deserves it. And Ronaldo can only sit on the bench and wonder what if. Tough. Bontrao reached in one too many times, but he knew that the dams were falling in around him, wasn't they? Didn't they? One Manuel Martinez in that great little run into the box. Contrao really had the gamble and reach in, stab the ball away. He got there a nanosecond too late to sink Portugal by the looks of it. Portugal probably deserved better than this final score. They still have a few seconds. João Pereira. Cleared Mascherano on the volley, but no such luck. It was Machado sending it wide, and Ray, the new kids, maybe stealing a bit of the limelight. Good game for Rojo. Bilia has done well since coming in, and Martinez started the play and then earns the penalty. This side that Batista is building together, watch out, fans in South America. Argentina's got an eye on more than just hosting the tournament. They want to win it. And again, we go back to the big stars that are out. That the coach, Checo Batista, has had to call in Juan Manuel Martinez because there's no Gonzalo Higuain, there's no Tevez. That's amazing. Big resources missing in action. And of course, Diego Melito. Let's not forget the Internazionale diamond. Back heel from Messi, but he can't keep it in. Lifted high by Burdizzo. Alves. Flipped wide by Machado. A tremendous response from Portugal, who have absolutely played their part in this game, haven't they? See if Danny can produce something out of this world. Produces a bad ball. Might have been deflected a bit, but off to the races. They're going to pull him back with the final whistle. Messi with the winner from the penalty spot as Argentina invades Europe and comes away with the trophy. Wonderful game led by Lionel Checo Batista's Argentina man. Rock and roll in this wonderful game of football. Portugal hold their heads up very, very high because they played absolutely wonderfully and gave notice that they are back in business led by Cristiano but with great support Bruno Alves played well at the back and the goalkeepers from both sides performed tremendous games to turn down each other the scoreline leads 2-1 Lionel Messi king of the castle again the soccer fans perhaps the biggest winner it's Argentina coming away with a scalp against Portugal with Messi, the 90th minute game winner.